What are you doing? Hey Cora, I'm studying microbiology and today we're performing the Simmons Citrate test. Oh, why don't you tell me more about that? That sounds so interesting. Okay. The ability of some bacteria to ferment citrate can be useful for identifying bacteria. Bacteria with the enzyme citrate lyase can break down citrate to form pyruvate, which can be reduced in fermentation. Simmons citrate agar is used to determine use. When bacteria use citrate in ammonium, the medium is alkalized because of ammonia, produced from ammonium. The indicator, bromethamol blue, changes to blue when the medium is alkalized, indicating a positive citrate utilization test. Simmons citrate assay has two steps. First, using a loop, inoculate one citrate slant with Escherichia coli and the other slant with Enterobacter aerogenes. Then, incubate the tubes at 37 degrees Celsius until the next lab period, or 48 hours later. So Cora, I gathered up all our materials. We have our sterile loops, our two uninoculated tubes, and our bacterial streak plates of E. coli and Enterobacter. Emery, why did you label everything? Oh, I just did that for identification purposes, because when we put things in the incubator, we don't want them to get mixed up with anyone else in the lab. Okay. So first, I'm going to start by taking one sterile loop. I'm going to use the E. coli streak plate first. I'm going to obtain one pure colony. Then I'm going to take the E. coli uninoculated tube and inoculate it by sticking the loop into the tube. Put it in there, bacteria, make sure it's off of it. Close it. Would you like to do the other one, Cor? Sure. So I take this loop mm -hmm. and take the plate. And I Wait, Cor, you need to put the cover face down because that's proper aseptic technique. Oh, okay. One bacterial colony. Yes, yeah, perfect. Don't forget to close that oh. before you open another one. Okay. And this is the enterobacteria. Yes, and you're inoculating it right now. Okay. Perfect. And just dispose of that right here. Nice. Now we're going to incubate the two tubes for 48 hours. We'll check on it in two days. Wow, Emory, I'm so excited to see our test results. Me too. Wow, one of these turned blue, Emory. Really? I bet I know which one it was. It was Enterobacter, just like I thought. The Enterobacter tube turned blue because the bacterium Enterobacter does ferment citrate. E. coli, on the other hand, remain green because it doesn't ferment citrate. Oh, okay. So the test worked. To recap for our Simmons citrate assay today, our results were for E. coli, no color change. The medium remained green. For Enterobacter aerogenes, we had a color change. The medium turned to blue. Analysis of these results are that E. coli is citrate negative. The medium is not alkalized and the bacteria does not ferment citrate. Enterobacter aerogenes, on the other hand, is citrate positive. The medium is alkalized and bacteria does ferment citrate. Thanks so much for showing me how to do this. I never knew that microbiology was so interesting. Oh, no problem, Court. Hopefully next time you can do the test on your own. For sure. Thanks for teaching me everything. No problem.